Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying warm out there. Uh, for my final TCM in our project, I will be focusing on accessibility in social media, specifically the use of captions. So I will be spotlighting two different social media influencers and their names are Sarah and John. Starting with Sarah, she is a college student who makes videos about her daily life as a person with a disability and all of her videos and pictures on Instagram include a transcription in the caption. So this way people on Instagram who use a text-to-speech program on their smartphone can access the picture without any barriers. So to replicate her accessible practices, I will be creating a transcription for one of my own Instagram posts and I will put the picture right here. And my picture description that I created was a picture of a white woman with glasses and hair pulled back. This woman is smiling as an orange and white cat places one paw on her shoulder and the cat is sitting in a cat tree. So this is personally one of my favorite pictures and I thought it would be fun to just add a little description to it, make it accessible for this example. So next, before I introduce my next social media influencer, if you have not already, please turn on your captions in the lower right hand corner of the video as this is part of my second example of accessibility in social media. So the next influencer I will be focusing on, his name is John, and he posts videos on TikTok um, about his life as a child of a deaf adult, or also known as CODA. Um, and his videos include live captions displayed on the screen, and he also does American Sign Language while he is speaking out loud. So this type of media presents itself as universally accessible, this design, um, meaning that no matter a person's ability level, that they can still access this media. So as I previously asked, you should all be watching with the captions at the bottom of this video. And I chose to replicate this creative addition to John's videos because of the accessibility and of how easy it was to add captions to my videos using YouTube, free tools like that. So I highly encourage all of you to try and implement these into your future classrooms for any students um, with or without disabilities as it can increase learning for all ability levels. So thank you so much for watching.